And if we switch here, compete with the lowest price, that means I want to compete with the lowest price offer within competition. All the setting will be changed. All the course of action will be changed. You will uh, encounter different scenario over here. Let's have a look. So let's say I want to compete with FBN as well. I don't care. I just want to compete with the lowest price uh, offer within the competition. Keep in mind, in one competition, maybe your mean price here, but the lowest price is actually below your mean price. That is actually possible though. Let's say before within one competition, you have like, oh, everyone is FBA. But later you are the only FBA left and most of the sellers are FBN and they are selling much lower than yours. So the lowest price will become lower than your minimum price. So actually the environment of the competition is constantly changing. When you want to compete with the lowest price, you really want to push your inventory out, no matter what. And you can just over here, when competition is above my main price, I want to target it, and I want to price 3% below, depends on you, or you want to price match. What? You just give it zero value over here. And over here, when, when competitor is below main price, use auto compete. This is very special though. Okay, imagine this. This is a competition. Oh, yeah, just see the, uh, the yellow pad up here. This is your competition. And then there's a competitor below your mean price. And that competitor is the lowest price offer within the competition. And you're using auto compete for this scenario. And then the system will start looking up. The system will uh, target the competitor number two because the competitor number two is above your main price. And that is the idea of auto compete. Since the lowest price is below your main, let's look up, let's try to find the eligible competitor that is above your main price. And also, of course, you can just use mean price for this scenario. And when competitor equals means, you can just use mean. Or you can use auto compete. I don't want to compete with any offer that is actually equal to my mean. And then for this scenario, the competitor, uh, the system will just still look up to the eligible competitor that's actually above your mean price. And this one, no competition, is the same as competing with a five bucks price. But let's take a look at no competition between mean and max. You can see there are three different scenarios for this uh, for competing with the lowest price. There's the first scenario when all competitors are below mean price. Let's take a look at the yellow pad up here. You're literally the only a seller between your main and max, and the rest of the people, they are actually below your main. Actually, it's a, there's a problem though, because the majority of the commission is actually below your main. Maybe your main was set too high, and in this case, actually, Bitcoin is not really able to reprice you. For this scenario, you can just choose to use main price. Second one, when all competitors are above max, literally, all the competitors are above your max. You're able to just use max. Or you can speci uh, further specify how you want the system to respond to this scenario. Okay, the third one's a bit tricky. Uh, when all the competitors are below me and above max, as you can see the yellow pad, you're literally the only person with your, between your main and max, and the rest of the people, they're just spread out uh, below your main and above your max. And this is how you want the system to react to this scenario. So we are being very meticulous of all kind of different scenario, a future scenario will happen and you need to further tell the system how to react to those scenarios. Okay, and price change safety net is the same as the one that we mentioned before. Same with uh, mean price protection setting. Over here, Okay, the advanced setting is the same. When competitor is above me, I want to uh, price competitor price minus one cent over here. Keep in mind, if I can remind you guys over here, when the adjusted price equal what is below your main. Because I saw someone did this before, they want to use mean price, they want to use customize your price, and they want to use competitor price minus one cent. Remember, the scenario is when adjusted price 
is already equal or is below your mean. So you cannot use competitive price minus one cent. The system will use your mean price by default because the system will never price below your minimum price. So actually the setting over here is new. It's not actually working. Just keep in mind, because we'll only reprice your price between your min and max. That's all, that's the golden rule. Okay, actually the rest of the setting remain the same. The system will check on who is the lowest price within one competition, who is uh, uh, which fulfillment type of that competition is, and the system will check on your advanced setting and react differently. If you don't want to use advanced setting, you can just toggle them off. So when you toggle these off, it treats every kind of fulfillment exactly the same based on the rules you set up above. Right over here. This is like a very general rule. Right. And also, here's a trick. If I only toggle FBA versus FBA here, but actually the lowest price offer is FBA, and the system will check on the FBA and feel like this doesn't apply to the situation that we're seeing right now. Mm -hmm. And then the system will refer back to the general rule over here because the lowest price right now is FBM. Now we just imagine. Very if, good. Another scenario if uh, the lowest price offer right now is FBA, yes, and then the system will check on your advanced setting first and then just apply to this rule. Okay, are you guys ready? Here's another scenario. <laughs> Let's say I don't want a system. Yeah, I, I I deal with this stuff on a daily basis. Um, let say I don't want a system from the get go. I don't want to compute FBM. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's do this. I don't want a system to compute with FBM. I just toggle off over here, and then actually the lowest offer right now. The situation that we just imagined the lowest offer right now is FBM but you don't want a system to target the FBM, but there's a um, advanced setting and for the FBM versus FBM scenario is enabled, the system will check out the advanced setting first and realize, hey, there's a setting I can use. The system will apply to this rule. Just remember, the system will check out this section first, of course, and the system will move on to the advanced setting to see whether there's any proper setting the system can, can apply. If none of the setting here, the system can find to apply, then the system will move back to the general setting over here. So yeah. the advanced settings supersede the repricing setting? Yes, the advanced settings supersede the uh, repricing setting. Okay. Actually, it all fall under the repricing setting section. Okay, Jimmy, um, we've got a question from Mike. He wants to know if the buy box is suppressed, is there a way to set be cool to compete with the lowest FBA price in a suppressed environment? I see. That's the feature request that we have been receiving uh, multiple times. The idea is, hey, how about I just compete with the buy box price from the beginning? And then if the buy box is suppressed, Okay, buy box surprise right now. Why don't we just switch to company with lowest price FBA? That sounds very intriguing. That's actually have been submitted to one of our feature requests. Uh, that feature hasn't been made available yet. But what does happen in a suppressed buy box setting? Oh, okay. When the buy box is suppressed, uh, the system will apply, uh, will check on no buy box when it found. And okay. then the system will use this rule because you want the system to only check on the buy box price. There's a walk around I found out a long time ago. Okay, we can do this. Your price minus one cent. Uh -huh. Okay, so remember the situation when people receive price change report actually varies. If there's a new uh, seller join this competition, Amazon will send us the price change report, or there's an old seller leave the competition, Amazon will send us a report as well. Or just any member within the current competition change their price, Amazon will send us a report. Once we receive the report, the system will go through the whole repricing rule 
just to see whether we should change the price. Okay, let's say the buy back has been suppressed for a long time, but people just constantly changing their prices within the competition. And in that case, Amazon will still keep sending us uh, the price change report. Or if they don't, if Amazon doesn't send us a new report, Bicol will um, trigger to request report every 12 hours as well. My point being is by here, every time Amazon sends us a report and the system will check on your rule and the system will find out the current situation is actually applied to this rule. No backups will never fail. And if your rule is specified like this way, your price minus one cent, every time that we receive the price change report from Amazon, we will price you one cent below of your current price until we hit the minimum price. That's good to know. So far, do you guys follow me? I, I do follow. And it seems like, um, Kimberly, what do you think? It seems like that would help move the market until we found the point, either everybody hit their minimum or we found out the unsuppressed the buy box point, right? Right. So how, how often does it drop then? Every 12 hours or every five or 15 minutes? Whenever we receive the price change report, so actually there's no, spe there's no specific time because we don't know when Amazon is going to send us a report, but there's no report sent to the Bitcoin end. Every 12 hours, report, uh, Bitcoin will trigger to request the price change report. Okay, so 12 hours if nothing else is happening on that listing, if there's right. no movement. So uh -huh. it, would, it would work on the suppressed buy boxes where you have other competition, but possibly, so if you're the only, if, if you are the only seller on an ASIN with a suppressed buy box, it's only going to drop at one penny every 12 hours. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Well, if, wait, 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 if you're the only seller? Yes. Yeah, no, 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 the system will apply to this rule. No competition. You're the only seller. Ah, right, right, right. Might as well just use max price. Right. And also, why, in response to Mike's question, mm -hmm. why right now we don't have this feature yet to switch from competing with a buy box to competing with lowest price when the buy box is suppressed? 